all right so i think i'm audible and visible to all of you hello everyone on the behalf of dams uh, alpha and dams as an institute i'm presenting myself i'm dr tushar mehta i'm an orthopedic surgeon faculty of orthopedics and uh, first of all i just hope ki aap sab logon ka exam acha gaya ho you had a good exam of uh, this year fmg july 2025 and this is the discussion of orthopedics questions from that exam so a few questions that with which which we could recall i am just coming up with those questions and let's see if you people can relate to them so there was this question which was asked that an elderly woman which was involved in a road traffic accident now presents with difficulty in breathing in altered mental status x ray shows uh, basically a fracture of the shaft of the femur if anybody who is watching and listening me right listening to me right now feels that there was a change in the statement of the question please feel free to correct it here itself so when we talk about fracture shaft of femur i'm sure everybody knows that if you are not properly handled after fracture shaft of femur you develop a complication called as fat embolism syndrome which manifest into three parts of the body cardiopulmonary cerebral cutaneous in cerebral there is a altered sensorium you have delusion you have confusion you have convulsion in cutaneous you develop pedicle rashes and in cardiopulmonary you develop dyspnea difficulty in breathing that is dyspnea tachypnea tachycardia sinusis so, and plus fracture shaft of femur itself is a very big hint so obviously the answer has to be fat embolism mera aisa manna hai that anybody who has attended my lecture whether offline or online for fmg batches must be you know uska theek hua hoga aisa nahi ho sakta ki galat hua hoga ye now there is this question that comes that young adult patient presents with a fracture of the neck of the femur what is the most appropriate management so you need to understand one thing that if a young adult see when we talk about i mean initially i'll be very honest with you i had a doubt about it that uh, they must have asked uh, about a old patient but most of the recall that i got from different whatsapp groups and telegram groups people said that it is young adult only तो यंग अडल्ट में दोस्त मैं आपको क्लियर बात बोलता हूं दैट द ट्रीटमेंट हैज टू बी क्लोज रिडक्शन प्लस इंटरनल फिक्सेशन दैट इज द ट्रीटमेंट इफ इट वाज एन एल्डरली पर्सन विद अ फ्रैक्चर नेक ऑफ फीमर देन वी वुड हैव थॉट ऑफ हेमी आर्थ्रोप्लास्टी और टोटल रिप्लेसमेंट सो दिस इज बेसिकली फॉर ओल्ड पीपल there is no rule of external fixation at all in fracture neck of femur so answer has to be internal fixation so that is the safest answer i hope again most of you got it right <clears throat> now this question was taught to me uh, by people that uh, infant is brought to the hospital parents report a history of a single fall but x ray shows multiple fracture at different stages of healing what is the most likely diagnosis see please try to understand that if x ray shows diaphyseal fractures theek hai if x ray shows deformities if x rays shows different stages of healing theek hai agar ye sari cheeze aapko dekhne ko mil rahi hain then please try to understand you are dealing with osteogenesis imperfecta which is a type 1 collagen synthesis defect as simple as you know one can find the answer to be now some of you may argue even i had an argument with myself can it be battered baby no it can't ये बैटेड बेबी नहीं हो सकते इन बैटेड बेबी दे वुड हैव मेंशन सम साइंस ऑफ वायलेंस सम एब्रेशन सम ब्रूज ग्रेज लैसरेशन बाइट मार्क बाइट मार्क इन साइज मून तो उन्होंने देयर इज नथिंग दैट दे हैव मेंशन नाउ सम ऑफ यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट पेरेंट्स रिपोर्ट अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ अ सिंगल फॉल सिंगल फॉल डबल फॉल इंपरफेक्ट कैन हैव फ्रैक्चर इवन विदाउट अ फॉल सो मल्टीपल फ्रैक्चर एट डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ हीलिंग clear cut it takes you towards osteogenesis imperfecta it does not take you battered baby syndrome as much as emotionally you would want the answer to be now this question was asked in the exam that there was a ring shaped lytic lesion in the bone so what is the most likely diagnosis see first of all it if if answer was simple bone cyst it would have been proximal humerus it would have been metaphyseal area aneurysmal bone cyst would have been far more expensive now it can be osteoderma it can be brody's abscess osteoderma is not this is not a typical site for osteoderma one thing second thing in osteoderma they would have mentioned night pain aspirin relief pain killer all that thing so it is directly going towards what brodie's abscess so kuch ekdam clear cut brodie's metaphyseal proximal tibia everything is going towards brodie's 
नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन ऑनेस्टली आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग इट मैं रीजन भी बताता हूं आपको सी आई हैव टोल्ड इन ऑल माई लेक्चर दैट इफ यू इफ दे गिव यू अ फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द प्रोक्सिमल ह्यूमरस देन इट इज सरकम्प्लेक्स ब्रांच ऑफ एक्सिलरी नर्व इफ इट इज फ्रैक्चर ऑफ शाफ्ट ऑफ ह्यूमरस देन इट इज रेडियल नर इफ इट इज इफ इट इज सुपराकोंडाइल फ्रैक्चर देन इट इज एंटीरियर क्रोशियस नर मतलब पंद्रह साल हो चुके हैं इट्स बीन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स दैट इफ एन एफ एम जी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इज हैपनिंग इट हैज टू हैपन लाइक दिस ओनली यहाँ पे नर्व इंजरी पूछेंगे तो ये है यहाँ पूछेंगे तो ये है यहाँ पूछेंगे तो ये है कहाँ पूछा है यहाँ पूछा है सो आंसर हैज टू बी रेडियल एज सिंपल एज दैट ओके नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट वन अब ये एक्सरे आया था सम पीपल मेंशनड सम स्टूडेंट्स मेंशन कि नहीं सर ट्रीटमेंट पूछा था सम मेंशन नहीं कुछ और पूछा था बट मोस्ट ऑफ यू मैंशन की सर देर वॉज अ एक्सरे एंड दैट आस्ट फ्रैक्चर so it is not a femoral neck fracture that would have been hair pubic rami would have been hair subtrochanteric would have been hair just above the shaft so it is a clear cut intertrochanteric fracture femur theek hai it's an extra capsular fracture it's an intertrochanteric fracture i hope i'm trying to i'm, I'm able to convince you okay now this question was asked where many of the recall people said that sir they had labeled this area and they said injury to Uh, b- 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 so basically the question was which will cause difficulty in dorsiflexion of the foot so options were given like this like this was an option this was an option this was an option this was an option so definitely answer is this okay answer is this so if this is a this is b this is c this is d see dorsiflexion of the foot is done by common peroneal nerve and common peroneal nerve makes a loop around neck of fibula so fracture of the neck of the fibula results into injury of common peroneal nerve which results into foot drop which is difficulty in dorsiflexion of foot so answer has to be c again a very predictable question which we had discussed in all our lectures now the person is lying down supine yes knee is in 90 degree flexion absolutely right knee is in 90 degree flexion now the examiner is sitting on the dorsum of the foot yes holding the proximal tibia in such a way that two thumbs are under the tibial tuberosity while fingers are embracing the posterior part of the proximal leg all right ये जो दोनों अंगूठे हैं दे आर ऑन द टिबियल टिब्रॉस्टी एंड दे आर एम्ब्रेजिंग द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑफ प्रोक्सिमल लेग एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू पुल द टिबिया इंटीरियरली टुवर्ड्स योर सेल्फ सो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ टेस्ट आर वी डूइंग हेयर वी आर डूइंग हेयर समथिंग व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज एंटीरियर ड्रॉवर्स टेस्ट व्हिच इज बेसिकली टू चेक व्हिच लेगामेंट इंजरी एसीएल एंटीरियर ड्रॉवर्स टेस्ट व्हिच इज बेसिकली टू चेक व्हिच लेगामेंट इंजरी ACL, all right. Anterior cruciate ligament. Clear? All right. So this was the end of the recall that we could get. I still insist that if anybody watching, listening right now, if you are able to get some more FMG questions that you faced in an exam, please feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Telegram or anywhere. You know, we'll come up with the answer solution of that. But one thing is for sure that orthopedics came in the most predictable pattern, and almost everything was taught in the lectures in the FMG course that we took offline and online, and even in the DFX, all these things were covered. And I hope that uh, as far as orthopedics is concerned, you get hundred uh, percent uh, questions right. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. This is again Dr. Tushar Mehta. So this is the FMG recall, and I uh, insist that please attend. the rest of the sessions i think i have started the session with my this thing so i insist that you please attend all the sessions and especially you know medicine surgery gynae pedia you know the bigger subjects path physio so they are also very important so you need to be more careful about them so that you know you uh, stay tuned with your studies and uh, of course taking a break after the exam is fine but still you know keep in touch with uh, what you have been through is good and